Hello, everybody, and welcome back to more Crusader Kings 2, The Old Gods, with me, Orin. And, um, I've done a little bit of looking around because I wasn't real sure where to go next at the end of the last episode. I know I raised soldiers up over here to uh, go raiding, but I've since put them down because I'm just not so sure. And I wanted to look at, like, who I could go to war with for what. And I'm looking around, and I see, like, uh, Lothar and Jinnia. Like, all of his brothers hate him. Like, he probably wouldn't call him into war, and, you know, he's doing, like, super weak on soldiers right now, so we probably want a war against him. But, the problem is, unless we want to do, like, our conquest, if we would declare a holy war on this guy, like, I feel like the Christians are still going to come to help him. And, like, uh, another big fight we have is England. Um, his only real ally is Asturias, and his vassals are also hurting right now. So, um, but, I mean, again, if we holy war for something, then... I feel like it might... I feel like West West France may come, but he's also in two wars of his own. So I feel like England is where we're gonna hit, and um, I was going to declare war for York, but I was thinking, right? We can put my mind to it. And I thought the reason the Holy War is so scary is because all of us is Catholic, but. If we take the moral authority off the Catholics, like taking their holy sites from them, every religion has five holy sites. Here are four of them. And then, like, obviously, like, we can take Galicia, no problem. We can take Kent without too much of a problem. Rome, nothing. Jerusalem is already held by somebody else. So, yeah. I mean, I think what we're going to do or what I'm going to try to do over the next couple episodes is punch out the Catholic moral authority. Maybe we can get some big beautiful heresy uh, spreading across the uh, Caroling freaking super compact. And uh, because I believe England is in such a weakened state as much as I want to holy war for York because that's what a Viking would do. I'm going to Holy War for Kent, because I feel like that's the smarter thing to do. So we're going to go ahead and declare war here. England had about 6,000, I think. About 6,800. More than enough money to get, uh, to get quite a few mercenaries, if it comes to that. And Asturias is more than likely going to join in this war. Um, I'm just hoping, like, this army of 23,000 gets broken up somewhere along the lines in Castile. I don't know. Yeah, he only has 6,000. I don't know why this army is so big, though. Oh, it's because England's 17,000 are down there, too. Which means that there's literally no one at home in England right now. <clears throat> Which is great. So, uh, first things first, we're gonna go ahead and get our Irish vassals to just, uh, jump in on English-occupied Ireland. Yeah, maybe work them out like that. Um, Murray is probably going to be worth at least something in this. These guys are good. More Kane and Leon. Leon can come over. More Kane needs someone to pick him up. Norway can probably be the one to pick up more Kane. Um, and now Sweden. Now we get to re-raise this army. Again. And 
found in here somewhere. I'm sure there's more. Oh, I just like lost fights with these guys against rebels right away, didn't I? So they probably don't have all that much. Alright. Go ahead and get it up times three. Get these guys on the boat like this. Bring my retinue. I don't know what they're doing. Desmond has refused a revocation of Desmond. Vassar at war. These guys can pop up here and pick these guys up. And Scotland has joined the fight. Because it is a holy war after all. We have to remember this. Um, Asturias has still yet to, and the English army has still not come home. So we can collect 7,000 in here, and yeah, we can probably drop this group of 4,000 right in here too. These guys can come to Summers. That. That's a retinue. These guys are good. Hmm. Actually, let's just hop all these guys in on him, actually. I feel like we should probably go break up an army. Oh, uh, whoop. No, where'd you guys go? There you are. In Sussex, these guys are get Surrey. Can I not, can I not land in Surrey? Watch my son Nud play with another child yesterday and noticed he didn't want to share his toys. Um. What are we? Uh, I'm gonna power game to shit and just go hope for charitable. <laughs> nah, we didn't get it. He got greedy anyway. Okay, hold on. What's going on? You guys. Together. We need like some semblance of a marshal in this army. And on this army. Starketer him. Alright. You can step back down. You're good to go. That army can sit there. These guys are good. Now I need an army smashing army. Mess with Scottish nationals. build this army at? I guess we'll build it in Scotland. These guys come up here. This boat's gonna swing back to pick some boys up. You are not worth the time. And you guys are all shit. All shit. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful. How many of my soldiers do I have raised? Apparently I have 14,000 more. I don't know where they live though. I'd love to find them. I'm like, oh, Mecklenburg probably still has somebody. Not a lot. I really need to make like a king in Sweden, but that's a lot of power to be given away to some guy. Make 
sure the enemy armies aren't sneaking up on me. Let's see. Spanish are forming up. Marching to Clydesdale. Alright. Five thousand. We'll have to pull over here. We'll drop these guys back. Oriel on December first. These guys on December second. Already population of Kimmy. All right. More marshals. Guy below Nudie, Einar. There we go. Fantastic. These sieges are coming along. I'm gonna start rushing stuff. Actually, you guys can just come over here. Number 16. Awesome. Oop. There you are. Yep, right there. That's perfect. Changed my mind. You guys need to come over here as well. I was kind of hoping he would attack into me, but it doesn't look like he's going to. Hmm. Oh well, I can go after him without too much of a problem. Yeah, I got 9,000 right now. With some manageable marshals. And I think I can probably rush down here. I'm just looking at my archer numbers. I have a piss load of them. That's all I need to know. We have joined battle over here. We'll watch this out. I haven't beat on marshals and numbers. The defending bonus is not high. They do have better units at this point. Yeah, it's a close one. Horse not big enough for some of the barons. Um, no hunting on church lands. I'm a very pious man. Jesus, you guys need to come help. Okay, we captured... Some guy, it doesn't matter. Okay. Get these guys rocking. Fantastic, we can rush this as well. And um, we can probably rush this. Oh yeah, no problem. You guys are doing great. Keep killing the Scottish. Looks like our king had his 16th birthday. Poor guy. And the Pope has joined the fight. Isn't that funny? Oh, Pope with his 4,000. There's the boat. Oh, I know that flag anyway. If he decides to land over here, it's probably not the best idea for him to. And one detachment up there. See where he's going. Yeah, never mind. We're going after him. Uh, 11th of April, 12th of April, damn. 17th of April, 17th of April, ah, it changes down to the 16th of April. Son of a gun. I 
continuing to smash the Scottish army over here. And it does look like it counts for my overall war score, so I'm fine to continue doing it. No one else has joined the fight. Fourth of April, twenty-fifth of April. Okay, this is just stupid. I'm gonna stay here and wait for him to leave. Um, some mayor is now my prisoner. Scottish armies are still running away. We're gonna go take care of them. After a successful siege, we got two girls. We are both daughters of the Countess of Sussex. So that's not too bad. Now these guys are going to walk on the capital. Also because I want vision. Yeah, okay. There's no armies like hiding over here. 5,000 versus 600 might be rushable, but not very well. Um, Sudregir, you were 21 and strong. I was gonna give you a, I was gonna give you a kingdom. <laughs> I was going to give you a kingdom. Ah, and your inbred hunchback daughter is now the countess. God damn it. Oh, I'm gonna lose hair over this. My field gear. Majority of population of Rostock. Now north. And I have a truce expiring with Brittany. Fantastic. We have somewhere to go after this. Okay. That's the last time I'm going to chase the Scottish down. Um, we're going to do one or two rushes here. Then we're going to move back into Japan. The Cathanesian Peasant Revolt. Some bitch. Okay, the Scottish army is destroyed. Um, 7,000 versus 1,300. 900 skirmishers would probably not be a very pretty rush. Yeah, no, you get. Need to keep rushing here. We have plenty of time to get back to the tent. Keep rushing. Okay. Whoop. Take this whole force with us. There we go. All 9,000 of them. Oh, 6,000 here. Yep, okay. And we're at 73% war score. Mostly occupation. Battles help. Um, let's see what this looks like. Really bad. Okay. I thought so. Going to fight with the Pope here. Fantastic. Looks like Scotland's raising armies. Now they are going to Essex, so we will follow through. Why is East France's boats like flying past me? Bavarian Holy War protects, that would be why. Liege, I managed so distrust between some guy and some guy. You, if I remember correctly, are in the wrong county. You are supposed to be sowing distrust between the Duke of Holland and his king. Four thousand versus eight hundred. Not pretty. Six thousand versus one thousand. Much better. Some place is converted to the Norse faith. The one true god. There it is. Live in harmony and contentment. 
We surrender under these terms. One hundred piety, fifty speed, three percent moral authority. They lose three percent moral authority. Plus they lose ten percent because I'm taking ten. That's a good chunk of moral authority already. that army down, put those two on a boat so we can go deal with um, this peasant revolt up north. I have become many things. I will make the temples myself for the free piety. Um, make those cities just because why not. And I should... Yep, and you surf Kent. Beauty. Now, we need to find a kinsman who isn't going to die on me. Um, actually, if I want to hold on to and I can give away... I could give away Danzig. I kept Danzig for a while and not really gave a shit about it. Is it Norse yet? No, it's still... Slavic. Hmm... I wonder which one I should give away. I could always give these two away. Yeah, I think I'll just make vassals and give these two away. Noble to court, noble to court. You, look at you go. Grand land a title. Iron. Court. Raldir. Grant land the title. That thing. Apparently I lost my steward in all this. Ivar the Boneless. Research economic technology. And my spear. You, whatever your name is. Go prophetize. You're right there in Finn. Fantastic. Put that back there. Oh, and I think there was technology changes I wanted to make. Um, yes, I was going to take one more rank in Noble Customs. And I can finish off Tolerance. So now everything is at least one bar. Or at least that bar. Here's a camp of planning. Potter of Skogla. Raised an army. Exiles, mercenaries, hopeful. Where are you going, buddy? The conquest of Crimea. Good luck. <laughs> How do I? Oh, there's my timer. Well, oh, in this video, we actually got hint in one episode. That's absolutely good. Look, okay. Good luck. You're gonna need it. I'll give you my 20 gold. All right, so my timer just went off. We'll go ahead and stand these boys down. Because we don't need them. We can stand. We'll get to a friendly port. There. You guys go here. Land. Fine. Alright, you got it. Yeah, no. Okay. Fantastic. Save game! Um. Kent. Conquest. Kent Conquest. Not too bad. Um, even though it wasn't a conquest, it was a holy war. Look at that. Uh, I'll zoom out so we can take a little peek at Europe. And how are the Muslims doing? Not very well, it does look like. The Persians are doing pretty well, it looks like. Is this Persian up here too? Yeah, it is. Son of a gun. But yeah, thank you guys as always for watching. Um, it's been fun. 
uh, next episode, we're going to see how we can continue to uh, dig our claws into uh, after we crush this uh, revolt up in Katanas. Uh, we're probably going to finish off Brittany. It looks like West France is still at war with a bunch of people. So, hey, this guy, where are you from? Oh, you're Old Norse. And what are you attacking? Albany. I don't know what Albany is. I guess it's this guy. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah. Probably finish up Brittany after this, and then uh, we'll either jump in on Galicia, whether or not the S. We might wait for this guy to die because he does have a lot of shit. And uh, the Papacy as well, I feel like, is a pretty easy target. Because we can conquest for it, we don't have to holy war for it. And that way, West Grant can't get all uppity. I don't know if the Pope can call in, like, good Catholics, though. If he can, we might get in trouble, but I don't feel like he can. He'll probably just, like, relocate up to West Grant somewhere. But, uh, yep, yeah, I'm gonna end the episode here. Go get a drink and try to hammer out a couple more. Uh, see you guys next time.